What's up you guys? We are gonna do our workout today and today is gonna be a different style of a workout. Um, but we are gonna be working our arms, our legs, our abs, our butt, everything. So, oh, what student? Uh, Dad put a salt on mine. He put salt on your eggs? Did you tell me you don't want any salt? Okay, go tell me you don't want salt on your eggs and then come back. So we're playing teacher and student. So if my student keeps coming in, um, I'm sorry, but my little student, he's really cute. So I have to talk to him. Um, okay, so we are doing today's, it's actually called a chipper style. Chipper style is when we go through and we, we're we gonna do a big number. So we're gonna do 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. And then we're done, one round of it. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So it's one of those kinds of workouts where it's like, you just have to mentally go into it knowing, because 50 is a big number, 50, 40, those are big numbers. So just, so I sometimes break them up into like five sets of 10. I'm a numbers person. So in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm going to count to 25 and I'm going to count to 25 again. That way it seems like two sets of 25, but do it however you guys want. But we're going to be doing 50 air squats, 40 sit-ups, 30 snatches. 20 burpees and 10 push-ups. I'm gonna go over all of it with you guys. It's gonna be a fun workout. Um, don't leave if you, in case you don't have, don't know what something is, I'm gonna help you guys. We're gonna stretch, we're gonna get to it, and we're gonna have a good good workout in, get it done. Um, but you're, we're gonna do this as fast as we can. So that's today's workout. Um, so we're gonna stretch real quick, and most of it's, body weight the only thing that's not is the snatch um which so all we need today is for one dumbbell one dumbbell so i actually already stretched this morning but i'm going to stretch with you guys for a little bit because it's really important you guys to stretch going into a workout and i cannot um emphasize the importance of stretching enough it's very important to prevent injury it's when you elongate your muscle you stretch them out it's really an important piece. And it, a lot of us, we are on time crunches. So it's like, we will just work out, we'll skip the warm up, and that's when we end up injured every time. It's when we're complacent and we forget to do the important parts. Man. <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys from this week. Our week has been a lot. I'm like, oh. This is the last week before school starts of doing our Thursday workouts. Usually all of our workouts, if you guys join, you guys know they're via Zoom. Um, and I'm live with you guys. That way I can fix your form, help you do all of that. This usually Thursdays are live. Today's the last Thursday that will not be live. And it's just due to the school stuff. I'm up here. This, yeah, that's why. All right, so let's get on the ground. Let's stretch our legs. And if you need to, pause this, go for a little jog, stretch. It's really important to get your heart rate um, just elevated and get your blood pumping. Now, I I have the tightest hamstrings ever. Tightest hamstrings always. It's always a thing I have. Um, so I have to stretch my hamstrings every workout. And I'm not gonna lie, I am excited for school to start, you guys. The last big thing is getting these school supplies organized, which for some reason, the only two things I cannot find is a freaking yellow plastic folder and a green plastic folder. Yeah. They can't have prongs, they have to be plastic. I can't find those, but everything else I think I have, for Wyatt at least. We're gonna, um, once we finish doing this stretch, we're gonna get up and I'm gonna go over all five movements with you guys. That way you guys know exactly what to, um, what the form looks like, exactly how to do it. If you have any questions, always ask in the comments or in the app that I coach and send me your form and I can help you. Send me you doing um, a rep of something and say, hey Tara, does this look right? And I do not mind helping you guys one bit. 
I know sometimes it takes a lot um, to like turn your camera on, zoom and be like, hey, am I doing this right? Just send me, send me um, a video over at, in the app that we coach in. That's the best place to do it for one-on-one -on -one help. That's where you get the one-on-one -on -one help and all of that. Okay, come down, deep stretch. And if my little student comes back, he might join us, but I don't know. <laughs> He's the funniest. <laughs> oh man, that kid. He just calls me teacher when we play, when we play teacher and student. He says, teacher, teacher. Okay, so let's get some air squat practice. So air squats, what an air squat is gonna look like. Um, so your feet are under your shoulders under your shoulders, they're not under our hips, not under your hips. You don't have enough room to go and then it's like a plie, it's not a good proper squat. Um, under your shoulders, your toes are pointed out a little bit. Your butt, so think about unlocking your hips, pushing your butt back, and that's how you initiate a, uh, an air squat. You're gonna come down, come up, and I want you guys to get that full range of motion. People, I can't even, like, more people than not, they come here and then they come up and this is their squats. You guys, they're losing so much of the, the, they could be getting so much more muscle and lean muscle if they would just do the full movement. People skip the full movement. Don't do that. Do the full range of motion. I'd rather you do that than go up and wait any day of the week. Um, so full range, we're doing 50 of these. And yes, these work our quads. You guys, these quads, how everybody's like, how do you get those quads? You guys, air squats, full depth. So when we're doing this, butt goes back. I put my hands out for balance, stand up. If you guys can't do this, or you, it seems like you're coming to your toes, it could be that you have weak ankle mobility. It could be an ankle mobility issue. If that's the case, I want you guys to put your heels underneath something. So say, just for the sake of this, I have two composition books. Um, put my heels on those, and that's probably gonna help you. That might be enough to help you. Um, just make sure whatever you put your heels on, it's sturdy, but today is just air squats. No extra weight, we're going quick. So we're doing 50 air squats, 40 sit-ups. Sit-ups are going to look like this. We're gonna start down here. We're gonna touch the ground, touch our toes. Touch, 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 and that's one rep. Don't forget though, what I want you guys thinking about is keeping your heels planted. If you guys cannot keep these heels planted, meaning, see, so yeah, I come back, see, I'm like, eh, it's because of my core. That's from core strength. We gotta build our core strength. Put your feet under, so you say I could use two 20 pound weights, or a couch, or your kids or something. Put your toes under those, and now, guess what? You're gonna get a better um, ab workout, and you're gonna start building that core strength that you need to be able to do a good sit-up without weights. So it's just start, these are 20s. Say I did these today, next time I might only need 10s. The time after that, I might need fives. Then I might be doing these with nothing. But make sure we're keeping those heels planted as we come back and up. I want you guys to really feel the burn in your core. Um, and now what's our 30? So that's our 40, 30 is snatches. So 30 snatches. So what we're going to do is we're doing 15 snatches on each side. That equals 30, 15 and 15. So when we're, and so they're dumbbell snatches. So the dumbbells on the ground, all you need is one dumbbell for today's workout. We're going to pick it up. So it's kind of in between our feet. We're going to come down. Remember, we're not arching our shoulders. Don't roll your shoulders. Keep your shoulders pulled back like this. It's really easy to go like this, and that's how you pull something down here in your lumbar spine. It's not worth it, you guys. Don't start messing with your spine. Not worth it. Spine, uh, back problems are the worst. So what I want you guys to do, pull your shoulders back, come down, pull, stand. 
and then you can alternate if you want, or you can do five on one side, five on the other, or 15 on one side, 15 on the other. I don't really care. Um, as long as you do 15 on, any, 15 on each side, that's what we're looking for. 15 on each side of those snatches. 20 burpees. Burpees are just that. They are just regular burpees. So we're gonna drop to the ground. Up, jump. Another form of a burpee, you guys. Say you're just now getting started and you don't quite have the endurance yet to jump up, keep going. Um, you can do step, step. What's up, student? I need my motorcycle. You need your motorcycle? Yeah, okay. I'm um, okay, can I do my workout really fast with my friends? Yeah. And you're looking for your motorcycle? Yeah, to watch the TV. Okay, I bet your motorcycle's in the kitchen. I did not bring it in. Is it in your backpack? Okay, so you guys come from down here. Boom, boom, stamp. Back down. Boom, boom, down. Boom, boom, stamp. That can be a burpee. That is okay, you guys. We all have to start somewhere. Um, so we're doing 20 burpees. 10 push-ups. Push-ups. Um, so for push-ups, you guys, these are very... Push-ups are advanced, especially a proper push-up. Push-ups you see done wrong all the time. Um, so what I want you guys to do is I want to make sure we're still getting that full range of motion. You're going to hear me say full range of motion so many times when I'm coaching a workout because it's something people um, skip out on to go faster. They always choose intensity over integrity. I don't want to see that ever, ever, ever. So make sure you guys are choosing integrity over intensity, meaning don't lose the integrity of the movement to go faster. Get that full range of motion and go slower. You're going to get more, um, you're going to get better results than just going so fast and losing form and just bah, flopping around. It's don't do that. So push-ups. Our palms are under our shoulders. Feet are back. You guys, you're going to push your elbows back. Chest hits the deck. Come up. Back. Up. So, you guys are noticing a few things. My body's nice and tight. Everything is staying nice and tight as I take my um, elbows back. So, when you guys are doing these, keep your elbows tucked to your body. I know it's harder. This way is going to cause more shoulder problems in the long run, you guys. It puts more strain and stress on your shoulder. Keep everything tight. Tight to your body. I promise you guys, your shoulders... You will, thank, you will thank yourself later for doing them this way than trying to put so much pressure on your shoulder. This should, we're working our triceps. Um, so if you guys can't do them quite like that, but get your chest to the deck, bring your knees back, body is in a nice, like in a, um, in a line. There's no break in my body. We're gonna come down, up. So my elbows are still on top of my um, palms. And we're just gonna come down, up. If you guys can't do that, use a chair or something. Use a chair, do the same thing. Same thing, down, up. That's totally fine, you guys. Totally fine. There's so many scaling options for a push up. Um, but that is today's workout. We got 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Um, and we're gonna get started. That's that. I could start a clock, but guess what? I'm using my phone, I don't have an extra clock. We don't have to like do a timer or nothing. So I just want you to go as fast as you can without losing the integrity of the movements. That's what today's is about. So 50, here, I'm gonna put it up here in case you guys want air, um, <laughs> you can see exactly what kind of paper it's on. 50 air squats, 40 sit-ups, 30 snatches, 20 burpees, 10 push-ups. Um, so I'm trying to think. I guess I can use the timer on my on this. It is good to have a time on this kind of stuff, just in case you ever want to test your um, endurance. You can do this workout again and just make yourself go faster. So let's put a clock on.
alarm, stop, stopwatch timer. Okay, stopwatch. I'm gonna hit start. We're gonna get started. Throw some music on. I can't have music just because uh, I don't own the rights to any of it. So, so we're doing 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Go hard in the paint, you guys. 50 air squats, 40 sit ups, 30 snatches, 20 burpees, 10 push ups. We're done. So we're gonna get started and I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna start in oh, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, baby. Let's go away the music teaser. Can't try to count. Hold on one second. Six. Seven. It has like two on it, right? Yes. Yep. All right, first of all. Yes. This burns. Four. Woo! This burns. Um. Come on, you guys, keep going. Get all 50. total. Ha! Ah, 17 more. Come on, you guys. 44. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty. Okay, you guys, 40. Remember, heels stay planted. Number 15. Woo! You guys, this is good. 25 more. Come on, 40 of these. Come 
38. 39. 40. Okay, 40. 30 snatches. Make sure we're keeping that thing close to our body. We got this, come on you guys. Come on, you guys. Oh my gosh, push ups, you guys. Ten push ups. Okay. Oh my gosh. What's my time? 845. Okay, so I'm gonna try to catch my breath. Keep going, you guys, keep going. I want you guys to finish strong. Don't slow down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Finish, 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 you guys. Everybody's times are gonna be different. That's what's fun about this workout is we all have different capabilities. We all have different endurance. Um, 
I haven't done this for a long time and some of you guys still might have beat me. That's okay. What I really want you guys to remember is do your own best. Don't do anybody else's best. Don't fight anybody else's best. Do your own best. Um, and that's how we become better is um, staying honest with ourselves and doing our own best. <sighs> ah! I'm gonna stand up. So keep it up, keep it up you guys. Walk around for a minute. Um, so this is your first workout with me, which it might be. What I want you guys to remember, or, or note, is I do five workouts a week with my team. Um, five workouts a week. So Monday, Patrice actually helps her on Monday nights, and that's core, that's all abs. Tuesday is going to be um, strength. Wednesday is gonna be, um, it's actually an Ask Anything, a Q&A via Zoom. Thursday is just like today's, it's on YouTube, it's usually live. Fridays is strength, and Saturdays is full body, just like today's. So if you guys enjoyed today, come back, let's do this again. Um, you guys can find our workout schedule on our website, but the Facebook group also, that's where you're gonna find most of everything is the Facebook group. So join um, and let me know, drop whatever questions you guys have in the chat and hope you guys have an awesome day.